Hey guys, welcome to Xetrol channel again and this video going to be very special because we are going to explore a very important subject in financial sector which is the compound interest CAGR which is compound annual growth rate. It's actually the same thing as a rate in our compound interest formula but CAGR or I can say compound annual growth rate measures the growth of an investment as if it had grown at a steady rate on an annually compounded basis like if you have a steady rate here with you and you have just some numbers from years to amount but you don't have a rate at which those numbers are building up so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to cover many aspects of financial calculation in excel so let's get started. so you have a formula here which is called RRI but also you can create your own compound interest formula but we have to go through some basics in this part so what will the basic in this part see here as you can see we have a year one to six here but we have amount also right so in traditional way how we calculate a compound amount okay or you can say compounded amount we used to calculate so how we calculate that we calculate like and amount which we receive is a compound interest amount so we are going to enter a traditional formula of compound interest so and will be the uh, end result of compound interest amount and what we usually do is we usually state a starting amount which was 100 here and multiply by that a growth rate which your bank or any entity is providing you so how we used to calculate we used to calculate like this rate by 100 right or you can say rate percentage but it also called as c a g r okay because your rate of interest is steady if your rate of interest is steady then it's called compound annual growth rate so that's how you find to the power of n and is the number of periods here right that's how we used to calculate but if we want to find the CAGR or you can say growth rate from this so how can we derive from this equation if you are a mathematical student or if you knew how to play with those ex mathematical expressions or equations then it will be easier for you first we used to do is take that start to the divided by and right because we are taking that start to below the end part of it amount which is also called as a compound interest so end will be divided by start here so what we left here is one plus c a g r or rate you have a, however you want to calculate that right so now what we left here is we left here with that power so if i want to transfer this power to here then it will become and divided by start to the power 1 by 9 right if you know the mathematical expression then it will be easier for you if you don't know it then you can skip the part to the rri function which i have described in the upcoming minutes which you can browse in the timeline given in the description box so that's how next part will be right because we want to transfer this power to the end divided by start so and divided by start uh, to the power 1 by n right is equal to 1 plus c a g r so we have done a 90 percent part here and the last part will be taking this one and to there to the left hand side and making it a subtracting from this equation right so that's how our equation will be and it will help us if you have a regular expressions like that or you see the arrows like that then this formula will come very handy so this will be the same and that one will come to the left hand side and here we get the formula of compound annual growth rate okay so now we are going to apply that in our formula section here 
so let's just give the header here what will be the CAGR of such amount so we will use this where it is let me just yeah we will use this formula of CAGR okay so let's start entering our data so in first we are going to open our formula with equal to operator and open and amount here and amount is this right it should be divided by the starting amount which is 100 and we have to give the power of 1 by this right because that's the number of period and which means our interest is getting paid annually so we are not dividing that in the monthly basis right and now it's subtracting by one here let me just put it in a bracket here okay so let's see what it gives so it gives us a six percent here if you want to format this particular cell you can just right click and go to the format and click on the percentage and there you go so you get the annual growth rate with the help of such formula so you must know by now how to calculate such stuff with the help of this particular formula so the idea behind this particular calculation is to give you an overview how such formula works in excel so 90 percent of your mathematical expression will be solved like that only so hope you get the idea how to calculate such stuff and now we are going to use rri function here to calculate the same so excel rri function returns an equivalent interest rate for the growth of an investment so you can use rri to calculate compound annual growth rate in excel because there is no formulas as such formula in excel or you can say as such function in excel so you can use rri function and it works the same but if you just work like we have done earlier and it will give you the power to customize your own formula in your future banking scenarios right so here we just enter the rri function so it has a number of period which is this right so present value is 100 and the future is this and close it down so it gives us the same answer which is six percent so hope you understand how we calculate the compound interest how we calculated the CAGR so if you have learned something from this video I know it's pretty long but to give you an overview or give you the understanding of such formula we have to put those mathematical expression or equation in this chapter and let you know or let you teach such stuff with the help of Excel inbuilt operators like we have done here so if you have learned something please click the like button and if you want to learn such stuff in future then click on subscribe button if you want to share this video to your colleague family or friends then click on the share button so if you still have a question in mind you have a comment box with you do ask away anything so see you in the next video until then bye bye